Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this fourth tutorial, we're going to cover user input. So to start off with, we're going to need to create a new project just like we did in the second tutorial. So to do that, new Java project, we're going to call it user input. Let's start off with a capital. Just click finish. And now let's create our main class just like before. And call it main and select this option here. Finish. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is ask for the user's name using the system.out.print line that we learned in the Hello World tutorial. So a little shortcut to do this is to type sys out and then, then press control space and that will fill it all out for you. So let's just type in please enter your name and now we're going to create a string to save that name too. Oops. We'll go over this in uh, a future tutorial. Uh, but for now, just type this. And now we've got somewhere to store the name, we need to create a scanner so that we can read what the user types into the console. To do that, type this scanner equals new scanner. And you're going to get this red line. So this is a compilation error. So we can fix this by importing the scanner. So to do that, just type this at the very top of the class, java.util.scanner. And you should see the red line disappear now. And this red line is because we need to put something in here. And what you need to type in here is system.in. So like how the system.out puts things into the console, system.in takes things from the console. So now that we've got that, let's tell the scanner to read the next line that the user types in and assign whatever they write to the username string. So we put username equals scanner, oops, spelled it wrong, scanner.next line. And so all this is saying is take whatever the user enters and put it into the username string. Now that we've done that, let's just close the scanner. You don't have to do this, but it is good practice. I just type in that. And then just so we can make sure it works, let's output to the screen what the user entered by using sys out and put in username. So let's run this and see if it works. Please enter your name. My name is Greg. Spelt incorrectly. There we go. Greg. And you see it's output my name. Can we do it with my name? Uh, we can do it with your name. What is your name? Matt. Matt. So you know my name. <sighs> Try to forget sometimes. Uh, Matt. Enter. Output Matt. Awesome. Uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial where we'll be going over numbers.